Ziggy, Mamo told you I was going to be reading you a book. Okay, um, it is called Jack and the Beanstalk. Look at those big old feet. I'm sure you've heard this story before, but this one's a little bit different. I love you and I miss you so much. Mamo's going to read it, and then I'm going to show you the picture that it shows that goes to it, okay? As old mother... Twaddle was sweeping her floor. She found a new sixpence under the door. And as she looked at it with exquisite pleasure, she called her son Jack to come look at her treasure. Can you see? See the old broom? See Jack hiding behind the door? got a grin on his face because he's thinking mmm some money I will climb I messed up I will comb thee and I will wash thee and make thee quite spruce which means she'll comb his hair and wash his face and put some cool clothes on him and you can go buy us a goose for all of the good things I vow and protest a that tasty, juicy goose is all the thing that I love best. Have you ever had goose? Or duck? I don't think I've had goose. I've had duck. When old mother Twaddle had sent Jack to the fair, she hastened with onions and sage to prepare. A savory stuffing for the delicious treat. And thought what and thought with what glee oh of the tidbits that she would eat. She's busy cooking like crazy. Hey Zeke, I heard you were helping this week fix some meals with the lady that comes and cooks for you guys. That was nice of you to help. When Jack reached the fair and round him was staring. A peddler cried out, Ha ha, buy, buy this bean for fairling. It possesses such virtues that sure as a gun, tomorrow will grow near as high as the sun. He was telling him a fib. He says, you buy this and it'll grow high to the sun. Or was he telling him a fib? Maybe it will. We'll have to wait and see. See the picture in there, all the people? Jack bought it for sixpence and then went to his mother, who at the sight of the bean made a terrible pother. She gave him a scolding for having, and slapped both his hands, for having presumed not to mind her commands. He didn't listen to her. He did what he wanted to do. And all he got was a bean or so. She thought. Jack went to the garden and took up his spade and then put the rare bean in the hole that he had just made, expecting to find this great wonder of wonders as tall as a tree to make up his blunders. So he planted it and expected the next day that it would reach to the sky. This wonder. I wonder how high it will reach. Well, the next morning, Jack rose to view the large bean, when to his surprise, oh, to the top, was not seen. It made a long ladder, as strong as a rope, and Jack soon climbed on high, full of joy and of hope. Look how big. That's him. Look how big this beanstalk is. Could you imagine how large the beans in that? You could feed... Something this size, you could feed a whole city of people. He knocked at the door in a very grand place, and a lady came to it with a cap all of lace. Oh, pray, go for him hence, cried the maid in fright, for a giant lives here, and he will eat you tonight. See, she's little like Jack. And she's warning him. Jack begged to come in with no winning an air. 
that he pro that she promised to hide him and pointed out where. He no sooner had hidden than the door opened wide and stopped with the giant with a very long stride. Take a big old, he's so big, Mamma has to keep holding the book up higher and higher and higher to get him all in it. Then the monster roared out, fee fi fo fum I smell the blood of an Englishman. If he be alive or if he be dead, I'll grind his bones and I'll make me some bread. That sounds nasty. Ooh, look how nasty he looks. He needs to brush his teeth. Sorry, pages are sticking together. Oh, wait, my dear giant. First drink some strong wine. Then on that dainty, you may afterwards dine. He seized the large cup and he tipped it so deep that he tumbled down flat <laughs> and fell fast asleep. She was sneaky. She got him to drink that and it knocked him out so she could try and rescue Jack. Soon as Jack saw it, as soon as Jack saw him fall, he crept from the bed, then snatched. What did he snatch? Oh, snapped his cup from his hand as he loudly snored. And guess what happened after that? She must have gave him a big glass of wine because he slept all night long and they didn't see him no more. So Jack sent for his mother to come up and dine with the promise of goose and a bottle of wine. And as she did eat it with excessive delight, she approved of his bargain and said he had done right. Did you catch that? They went up to the castle that the giant lived in. So apparently the giant has left and never to be seen again. Hoorah, that's cool, huh? So here they went from being very poor now they had a castle to live in. Jack sent for a parson, which is like Papa, a preacher, pastor, as he had a great mind to marry the lady who was willing and kind. The parson came soon and made Jack and made her Jack's wife, and they lived very happy to the end of their life. They got happily married. Here Jack and his wife and his mother are seen all dancing a jig around that wonderful bean. Isn't that cool? Jack and the Beanstalk. I love you, Zika Roo.